Hey there, everybody. We are back to After Hours English here to talk about some more idioms that you can use here in the month of love. I am joined here by Teacher Brandon. Da, 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 da. Hi, guys. Good to be back. Hi, David. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Good to have you back. Now, uh, we are talking about two idioms today,、uh, both of which I think you are familiar with. The first one is tie the knot. That's right. My wife and I, we tied the knot not too long ago, just back in July of 2019. That means we got married, David. That's right. I like that sentence. We tied the knot not too long ago. Yeah. Not, not. <laughs> I didn't、English. even do that on purpose. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> yes. So when you have been dating for a while, you get engaged to to your fiance, and then you decide to get married. It means that you tie the knot. Maybe you would say, "Oh, I went back to my hometown because my best friend wants to tie the knot with his high school sweetheart." Someone、Absolutely. he's been with for a while. They're going to get married. They're going to tie the knot. And maybe you've been dating for a long time, and your parents ask you, "When are you going to tie the knot? When are you going to get married?" Yes. <laughs> your friends see that you've been dating for ages, and they're like, "Hey, man, listen. I think it's time for you to tie the knot with your girlfriend."、Mm -hmm. But before you tie the knot with your girlfriend, I'm、oh, sorry, your fiance. Yes. You have to have someone turn from a girlfriend or a boyfriend to a fiance. And how do you do that, Brandon? Well, you have to pop the question. That means you have to ask them to marry you, right?、That's、and right. I remember this, right? There's that special moment. Maybe it's very private. Mine was where you get down on one knee and you ask、uh, my. At that point, my girlfriend. I asked her to marry me, and then she became my fiance. But. We say pop the question, and some people might ask you, "When are you going to pop the question?" That's right, and a lot of people really love stories about like, "Oh, when did someone pop the question?" or "How did they pop the question?"、Uh, I've heard stories about people being at a sports game, you know, and then they'll be there with their with their girlfriend or boyfriend, right? And then they're usually the the, the boyfriend will talk to somebody about putting a message <laughs> on the big、yeah. LED screen that says. Will you marry me? He pops the question right there at the baseball game or the football game.、Yeah. That's one way to do it. Sometimes it's、uh, you know in the sky you see a message, right? Not really, but like there's an airplane flying and something behind it. All these elaborate ways, or it can be very private. The important thing is, David, you need to actually ask. You need、yes. to pop the question. You have to pop the question. So hopefully, some of you maybe are deciding that you're going to pop the question. This February, so、Ooh. that in the future you can tie the knot and get married. Maybe you can write in and tell us at advancedstudioclassroom.com if you have a really interesting story about how you popped the question. But until next time, we'll see ya. See ya. Best of luck. Best of luck.